Hello and happy Friday. This is Brandon with Fridays with Brandon, and we are on episode number 93 of Fluke Fridays. What we're going to talk about today is some indoor air quality meters and why you might use the various uh, models. I only have two. I'm not an indoor air quality expert, but I'm going to try to talk through uh, both of these tools and why you would need either of them. So what are the tool, two tools we have? We have a Fluke 985 and we have a Fluke 971. Now high level overview, the 971 is going to do temperature, relative humidity, dew point, wet bulb, a couple things like that, some min-max capability. It's just going to take uh, ambient ter uh, temperature um, and do your readings right through the sensor right here just for the ambient air. Okay, so that can, you can walk into a room, kind of check how the uh, humidity and the temperature is for that room. The next one is a particle counter, and this is going to be for counting how many particles uh, we have in the atmosphere around us, as well as how uh, what the size of their, those particles are. So this can be used typically or going to be used in like a clean room and or a hospital that has very specific parameters on how large of particles they're allowed in a space and how many per million or whatever. Now, what it's not going to do, the particle counter, what it won't do is it won't tell you what kind of particles are they are or what they're made up of. They're just going to tell you the size of those particles to help with the, that clean room application. So let's jump into it. We'll show you the screens and kind of talk through both tools. Okay, we're going to talk about the 971 first, temperature and humidity meter. You can see up in the basement, 67 degrees F, because I live in the United States and I just can't think in Celsius. I know what boiling point of Celsius and freezing point of Celsius is, but man, I just, my body doesn't think in Celsius. So sorry for the rest of the world, you're going to have to look that up. But 64 degrees Fahrenheit and 47 Point six degree or 47.6 percent relative humidity and that's why the dehumidifier is running in the other room so we've got that we've got the ability to do dew point okay and wet bulb and for you HVAC folks out there and other people that deal with indoor air quality you know what those things mean to you I'm not an expert at these things but Min max, so we can punch that. Now blow on this and see. See if we can get it hot. There we go. Now we can toggle through. We can see our min. We can see our average. And we can see our max from when I blew on it earlier. Okay. So that's kind of what you can do. You can hit save. I'm didn't read the user manual. I don't think there's a way to download it. Maybe you just hit save and it stores it somewhere sorry oh yeah i guess you hit save and then recall let's uh get out of min max i don't bet i can do it hold let's see ah there we go memory two memory three so if you're walking to various rooms or different bent ducts and then you can go through and recall Oh, once you hit recall, then you have to use these up, down arrows. Okay, well, there you go. I think that's about all you can do with this. It takes uh, four AAA batteries. Nice little device. It comes with this, like, rubber boot on it that can be pulled off. Um, feels nice and rugged, small in your hand. So, there you go. There's the 971. Now, the 985, if you're spending somebody else's money and you care about particle size, this is the right tool for you. It's not a super cheap tool. It's, I don't know, five or $6,000, depending on who and where you buy it from. But you can see this from my last test. It's counting the number of particles and the size of those particles in my basement. So you see the size of the different particles and you see how many. And you can see, obviously, the smaller the particle, we see a, we have a lot more of them. The larger the particle, you see less of them. When you're first going to set it up, this Pelican case back here is kind of shows you what you get with it. You're, it's gonna come with this guy and you kind of press this down in there, get it using or reading the user start guide, 
put this on here, run through a five minute test. It should say zero for all of these. Um, if you have more than one at 0.3 micrometers, I think that's what U stands for, um, then you can go ahead and uh, you're, you're good to go and you can do your test in your space. So the menu options, uh, you hit menu, you kind of, it's not super intuitive for somebody who's used to touch screens, but you can see you scroll left and right and go through these different uh, screens that you can see, right? You can see the over time, how that changes, it'll trend it for you. But then you go and you get to these and then they've got up down. So some of them have like sub menus. So you're gonna go into uh, sample setup and that's where you can tell it how long you want to sample, um, if you want any delay, how many cycles you want, yada, yada, yada. And you can also do set up locations if you want to do different locations. Um, yeah, what kind of displays. If you want to do count or counts per square, per cubic foot, or counts per some unit of volume, okay? So depending on what kind of test you need, you can do those. And then when you're ready to take a test, you go to the sample screen and then you hit uh, just the enter button and it's gonna start. You guys might be able to hear the pump. Try to hold it close, you can hear it pumping. And you can see the counts going up as it's sucking air through and counting the particles in the air. That's kind of the whole explanation of this 985. There's ways of um, it's got internal memory, you can download, it's got this cool dock start charging station, um, and then you can export the data. So, if you need it, if you've got a clean room or a hospital, and you need to know, are we keeping our, our uh, particle count and the size of the particles at the right level, this might be the tool for you. Well, I hope that was helpful. Um, again, I'm no indoor air quality expert, but if this was helpful for you, let us know. If you have specific applications for either of these tools, put them in the comments below. I'd love to know where you guys are using these tools out in the field and getting the most use out of them. And what else? Oh, if you watch more than three videos, don't forget to hit subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Have a great weekend. Take care, everyone.